What if I tell you that the Indian cricketer you see in this picture, taken during the 1983 World Cup, is now a prominent politician and a former member of parliament? Or the person seen in this picture, alongside Sunil Gavaskar, was a member of the 1983 World Cup winning squad but did not play a single match in the tournament? Interesting, right? Do you know the answer? Write down in the comment section below and watch further to know if you are correct. Welcome to Cricket Stats. In this episode, we bring to you what each member of the Indian World Cup winning squad of 1983 are doing now after their retirement. Kapil Dev, captain of the Indian team of the 1983 World Cup, played for India till 1994, held the record for the most wickets in Test cricket for six years. With over 9,000 international runs and 687 international wickets, Kapil Dev was a prolific all-rounder who served national duty for 16 years. After retirement, Kapil Dev coached the Indian national side for 10 months in 1999 and was associated with the Indian Cricket League for 6 years, 2006 to 2012. Presently, he is a successful businessman and an eminent Hindi commentator. He runs a company called Dev Musco Lighting, which installs flood light in major stadiums and sports venues in India. He also owns Kapil's 11 restaurant in Chandigarh and Patna and Captain's Retreat Hotel in Chandigarh. Sunil Gavaskar Sunil Gavaskar adorned the Indian jersey for 125 test matches and 108 ODIs and has amassed more than 13,000 international runs. Sunil Gavaskar retired from international arena in 1987. Right after his retirement, he initiated his career as a cricket commentator and broadcaster. He is one of the famous Indian cricket commentators nowadays. He has also served in many positions like the Sheriff of Mumbai in 1994, ICC match referee, BCCI President, Chairman of the ICC Cricket Committee and the Vice President of the MCA. Ravi Shastri played international cricket for 11 years, in which he scored more than 7,000 international runs and has taken 280 wickets. In 1992, he was forced to retire from the international stage at the age of 31 on account of a recurring knee injury. Since 1995, Ravi Shastri joined Sunil Gavaskar as a cricket commentator and broadcaster with ESPN Star Sports. It ended in 2008 when he was contacted by BCCI to be the commentator for IPL. Ravi Shastri temporarily coached the Indian national side in 2007 before taking up the role full-fledgedly in 2017 as the team director. Presently, Ravi Shastri is the head coach of the Indian national side. Mohinder Amarnath the vice captain and the star performer of the 1983 World Cup, man of the match in the semi final and final, Mohinder Ramanath was also the man of the tournament in the 1983 Prudential World Cup. Mohinder Ramanath retired from international cricket in 1989 after a long 20 years international cricket career. Post retirement, he served in many positions as the member of the selection committee. He also set up a cricket academy, Mohinder Lala Cricket Academy, in 2005 at Baroda. Presently, he lives a peaceful and retired life in his Goa home along with his family. Sandeep Patil Sandeep Patil played 29 tests and 45 ODIs for India. He was a middle order batsman who has scored 4 test centuries for India. He played for only 4 years at the international stage. He has acted in one famous Bollywood movie and has also edited a Marathi sports magazine. After his retirement, he has coached the India A squad and has been the coach of the Kenyan cricket team in 2003 World Cup when Kenya surprisingly reached the semi-finals. He also served as the chairman of selectors of the BCCI for four years in between 2012 and 2016. Dilip Vengsarkar A formidable middle-order batsman of the Indian cricket team in the 1980s, Dilip Vengsarkar has scored more than 10,000 international runs appearing in 116 tests and 129 ODIs for India. After his retirement from, from cricket in 1992, he started the Elf Vengsarkar Cricket Academy in 1995. He also served as the Vice President of the Mumbai Cricket Association in 2003. In 2006, he was the Chairman of Selectors of the BCCI. Presently, he runs three cricket academies, two in Mumbai and one in Pune. 
These academies give free cricket training to selected players who are selected based on their merit. He also owns a website www.vengsarkar.in Krishnamachari Srikanth or popularly known as Chris Srikanth has played many valuable knocks throughout the World Cup by his hard-hitting batting. He played for 11 years and has over 6,000 international runs. After quitting the international scenario, he has coached the India A team and has been a premier broadcaster and commentator for various cricket and news channels. In 2008, he joined the Chennai Super Kings as a brand ambassador and 2012, he joined the Sunrisers Hyderabad as their brand ambassador. He was also the chairman of selectors for the BCCI in between 2008 and 2012. He is also a commentator of Star Sports Tamil. Roger Binney Roger Binney was the leading wicket taker for India in the 1983 World Cup with 18 wickets at an average of 18.67. He played 9 years for India before retiring in 1987 from the international arena. In his post-retirement life, Roger Binney coached the Indian under-19 squad which won the World Cup in 2000. He has also coached the Bengal Ranji squad and was part of the Karnataka State Cricket Association before becoming a national selector in 2012, a role that he still holds. Now coming to the answer of the first question we asked at the starting of this episode. The name of the cricketer is Kirti Azad. Kirti Azad did not play for a long time for India. He represented India in only 7 test matches and 25 ODIs. In the 1983 World Cup, he played only 2 matches where he scored just 15 runs and took one wicket. Soon after bidding a silent goodbye to cricket, he joined politics. He was a member of the Delhi Legislative Assembly from 1993 to 1998, member of the Lok Sabha in 1999, 2009 and again in 2014 from Darbhanga. In 2019, he changed his association to Indian National Congress, contested the Lok Sabha elections from Dhanbad constituency but unfortunately lost. Madan Lal shared the new ball with Kapil Dev in the 1980s and was more than a handy lower order batsman. He played 39 tests and 67 ODIs for India before retiring from the international cricket in 1987. After that, Madan Lal has always been associated with the game. He briefly coached the Indian national team in 1996-97 season, was a national selector in 2000 and 2001. He also coached the UAE national team in the 1996 World Cup. Presently, he runs a cricket academy in Delhi and was appointed the head coach in MPCA Academy in 2010. Said Kirmani, India's most successful wicketkeeper after MS Dhoni overtook his records, was the anchor point of the Indian World Cup winning squad. He played 88 tests and 49 ODIs for India. Very little is known about his post-retirement life. However, he worked in quite a few Bollywood movies alongside Sandeep Patil and as a public relations manager. He has also served a stint as the vice president of Karnataka State Cricket Academy and also as a chairman of the National Selection Committee. He was also seen as a cricket analyst for many news channels. Balwinder Singh Sandhu How can one forget the in-swinging delivery which clean bowled the West Indian opener Gordon Greenwich in 1983 World Cup Finals? It definitely was a once-in-a-lifetime delivery. Balwinder Singh Sandhu's cricket career was short and has played only 8 tests and 22 ODIs for India. After retiring from the game, he has served as the coach of Mumbai and Punjab. In the 1990s, he has had some coaching stints in Kenya. He was also associated with the infamous ICL for some time. Presently, he lives a retired life in Mumbai. Yashpal Sharma Yashpal Sharma played some memorable innings during the World Cup which included 89 runs in the opening match against West Indies and a fighting 61 in the semi-final versus England. Yashpal Sharma played 37 tests and 42 ODIs for India in between 1978 and 1985. After his exit from the game as a player, he became an umpire for some time and has also been a selector for the national team. Now coming to the answer of the second question. Who is the cricketer who is seen alongside Sunil Gavaskar? Any guesses? Sunil Valson, A left-arm medium-pace bowler 
toured along with the Indian team in the 1983 World Cup not to play a single match in the entire World Cup. Incidentally, he never played any match for India. He currently is the Associate Vice President of GMR Sports, G the chief franchise of IPL club Delhi Daredevils. He is also responsible for development of young talent for the Double Ds. Hope you found this video to be entertaining and informative. I would like to hear more from you on what you would like us to feature next. Thanks for watching yet another episode. If you have not subscribed till now, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel to never miss out on any new episode. Thank you and bye bye from now.